This video is published by MDKP International, LLC. In this video we're going to talk about our perfect MP6 perforator and our perfect MC6 creaser. Okay. They're both made out of metal, so they're very high quality machines. The only plastic you're going to find on is this black handle and the rubber feet on the bottom. That'll be the only thing that's not metal on these. The rubber feet have a really good grip so it doesn't damage the tables and, the, and it, when you're doing your work it's not going to shift around. Same thing with the perforator. Six rubber feet on them. They come fully assembled out of the box, this perforator. This is how you'll see it out of the box. This comes fully assembled with the exception of one thing, this handle here. And for the, it's going to come wrapped up in here somewhere and all you're going to have to do is put it in here and screw it in. And the reason for that is just a lot longer handle and to save on packaging space they remove the handle for shipping. It also comes with these magnets right here. and you can use them to hold down the paper or cardstock when you're going to perforate or crease it or you can use them as, as a stop where you can set it to like five and a half inches. Let me show you this here. I'm not sure how well this grid, this I'm measuring grid will show up in there. So you can set this to say five and a half. Like that and then you slide the paper in and just butt it up against there. Or you can just line up yourself and use them as um, holders. Same thing with this. I'll show you the measuring grid. Well, I'm not sure how well it's going to show up in the video but it goes down there in inches and it goes down to sixteenths of an inch through here and it also goes down to sixty-fourths of an inch in this, these smaller areas down here. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple demonstrations of it. This is just standard 20 pound paper. Again, you can set this to five and a half and then butt it up against it if you want. You can use this as a holder. Hold it over here with your hand. You typically don't even have to hold it, but it's a good idea too. And that's all you do is pull down on the handle. It's very easy to do. And you're going to see a nice crease it's going to put in it there. And from there you just take it and you fold it over on the crease. Just like that. And do some card stock here. Same thing, we'll just do it right in here. And I'll do it the other way here. We'll just, I'll just eyeball it to five and a half right on this measuring, which is just about as easy. And then you can put one on each side if you want to do it that way instead. Just like that. And you can see the crease there, hopefully. And again, just fold it over right on the crease. Um, we'll do a trifold on this. You just got to measure your paper and, and know sometimes these paper they're not exactly 11 inches in length so measure it if you want to fold them in half they could be like 10.95 or 10.9 or something so you'd have to instead of five and a half you might be at like 5.45 or something you'd have to fold that depending on the length of your paper so just uh, measure your paper before you do anything just fold it in half and do the trifolds and stuff to make sure it's you know the exact length of your paper so you can get precise creases. There's one side. And there's the other side. You can see the two creases. This will be for a trifold. Just like so. Get your next trifold. And it will do more than one sheet at a time. They are designed for one sheet, but like tonight you can do one or two sheets on this stuff, like on cardstock. I'll do two sheets here. Let's see, you got that. And it will crease the bottom. It's just sometimes it's not quite as good of a crease as the top one, but it still does work. So they are designed for one sheet at a time, but you can do more standard paper. You can sometimes do up to three to four or five sheets. Okay, and now let's move on over here to the perforator. And just like the creaser, just a one pull operation. I don't know the hell. I'm not sure how well it's going to show the perforation marks. They're longer perforation marks, but uh, 
maybe an eighth of an inch. Just like so. We'll do some cardstock here. I'll do three pieces of cardstock at the same time here. I'll show you, we'll do more than one sheet. sheets there. Take the side too. They all came out very well. And again, like I said, they, they are designed for one sheet. That's what we recommend them for, but you can do more if you want to try it. And let me make sure you got a good view of the, the measuring tape on these. I'm not sure how well they're come, it's going to come out in this. But they are in inches. And I think that's about it, except for, let me show you, they will do all types of paper. There are a few possibly it won't do, as far as like maybe tracing paper, because it's just hard and brittle. But this is photo paper. And the creature would also do the photo paper as well. But that's about it. I hope these videos have been helpful.